Well, hello, everyone. Yes, this is Anita in the Biz Coach coming back to you with all things grants. Happy New Year to everyone. Not sure if I got a chance to say it before, but if I did not, I am saying it now in person as well as I can be. All right. So I just want to wish you all a very, very prosperous, intentional, and happy, productive new year year for 2023. We have got to get these things done, you all. We, there is so much to be done. There is so much to be done, right? We know what time of year it is, right? Oh my God, tax season. <laughs> <laughs> so it is time to get those the your accounting done. You get all these great things going on, right? So I just want you all to know I am here for you. Let me tell you what we got coming up. Got a few things coming up. I have a workshop coming up on J January the 20th, which is, of course, this month. Um, it's in a couple of weeks. And I'll be breaking down how to get yourself ready for applying for grants. I'm going to break down. I've had a master class before, but I'm going to break that thing down even more, you all, so you can get prepared to start applying for grants. You need to be able to be ready when you find an opportunity that will fit your mission, your vision, the things that you want to accomplish with your programs, your projects, development of any type of services or products that you want to offer or that you're already offering. You want to expand on what you're already doing. So I'm trying to help you get there. I want you to know what it's going to take for you to get ready to do those things. So I'm going to be giving out some uh, information about that very, very soon, of course, because it is in a few weeks. So I'll be put, start putting it out tomorrow, actually. So start looking for that information in your inbox, in my postings, in my YouTube videos, everywhere I am, you're going to see it, all right? Because I want you all to get ready. This is already quarter two, believe it or not, for the government, right? We're just starting our year off. The government started their new year October 1st. So they have already started. They're in high gear. So it's time to start seeing what kind of opportunities that you can look forward to tapping into, all right? So that's one of the things you can start looking for from me. The second thing that you can start looking for is an opportunity you do not want to miss. Look, we're going to be having our Finance the Future Summit. Yes, 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 it's coming. You guys, we're going to have all sorts of valuable information coming from different presenters. We're going to be giving you all the juice. We're going to be giving you the goods on how to finance your future. It's going to be anything from, of course, grant funding, from grant funding to business loans and building business credit to start your own business or nonprofit to how to use, you know, have you ever heard of a, a reverse mortgage? Okay. So we got some folks coming that's going to be sharing some information on that and how you can actually utilize that money to fund your business or fund, you know, whatever kind of project or whatever it is you want to do, right? Also things like financial literacy. You guys, we got to get our stuff together. We got to get our, you know, our trust funds and all those different things, our, our living wills, everything that it's going to take for you to be able to finance your future. We're going to be talking about those things. So that's going to be coming to you in March. And you're going to be start looking for more information on these events. All right. And it's going to be um, in person and virtual is the goal. So we would definitely be keeping you abreast on the developments on that. All right. It's definitely going to be offered virtually. So you can, if you can't make it to Georgia, to Atlanta area, you can at least do it through virtual. But we'll be letting you know for sure the uh, different ways we're going to be presenting that and offering that out to you all. Okay. So today, I am sharing some information about a grant uh, from an organization called Digital Lift. So from what I have read and reviewed about this grant and this company, they are a software company where they, you know, help you with developments of different, um, you know, ways of utilizing software and things that you need for your nonprofits and your businesses. But this particular grant is for nonprofits, you know, uh, directly. So. 
Just to give you an overview of what it's about, we're going to take a quick look at some of the requirements and things they're asking for. So basically, like it says here, the Digital Live Software Grant provides your nonprofit with funding up to $1,000 for any software that will help maximize your team's digital efforts, okay? It says, how can or how the grant can help your organization? Well, it can help you make your work more efficient. It can upgrade your current software packages and also expand your current software by purchasing more licensing um, and also by bringing new software into your digital toolkit and get a track for a digital transformation. All right. So let's look at some of the steps here. So the application steps, The um, let's see, let's check out the overview first. All right. So the overview says that um, this is the way it works. Um, you will let them know on the application what type of software you, you want or you need, you know, upgrades on or, or new or whatever. You can have up to three of those. And then if you're approved, and you're given the green light for the purchase of what it is you want to get. They will commit to reimbursing for you, right? So what you do is you go ahead and upload the receipts for that, and then they make their donation. Now, I'm not sure if it says it here, but I'm sure in one of the other ones, because I know I read to where they said they They'll even reimburse you for software that you've already purchased. All right. Well, it says it right there, doesn't it? You can also use this grant for software you've already purchased and have been using. So all you have to do is send in those receipts as well. Let me tell you, I'm a receipt queen. I say receipts for everything. Probably stuff I don't even need to try to claim or whatever, right? It's probably nothing to do with my business. But I save them because you just never know. You know, that's why it's so important to have accounting, bookkeeping, and all those things. And that's one of the things we're going to be offering at the summit. Yes. You're going to learn about how to bookkeep, how to keep, you know, your accounting up so that you can be ready when tax season comes. I want to just throw that in there, a little plug, right? All right. So, Receipts are important, and as you can see with this offer, with this grant, you see why. Oh, one of the reasons why, at least, all right? So that's the overview. So the step one says that you would submit a grant through the Submit Grant button, all right? And then after you uh, apply, you will receive an email uh, to confirm they have received your application, and then the email will include a timeline of your grant process. And they have actually a timeline at the end of this page, too, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Step two, then, at that point, um, you will either be approved or denied. So if you are approved, you will purchase the software requested, and then you will upload your receipts through a form that they will send to you. Then your step three would be after they have received all the re required documentation from you, you will receive an email walking you through the rest of the payment process. All right. Step four is once you've received the funds, you're required to upload the donation receipt to complete the grant reconciliation. Please note that this is a step of the process is mandatory. So you can't just get the money, you know, your reimbursement and be, you know, la da da and just going on about your business. You have got to follow this last step, which is to upload your donation receipt. All right. So that's a part of their process. Okay, so um, these are some things you need to know before applying. You may request up to three different softwares, and it will total up to $1,000. You have to be very specific as possible when explaining how this software will benefit your organization. If the uh, application is not clear, your application will unfortunately not be considered. So that's why you see, you, you, you all see why it's so important why I go over these things, you know, and um, let you see the importance of understanding the instructions, the guidelines that you have to follow in order to apply for these grant opportunities. All right. It says the payments may be made online via our credit card. You must provide a donation page link or working online payment platform. So you have to, if you don't have one in, um, you know, that you're utilizing already, you have to go ahead and do that. That would be part of your process of preparing to apply for this grant. All right, so the next thing says, all grant funds must be used as stated uh, in the grant application. So you have to follow those guidelines, all right? And they must be used you know, the funding must be used as you say that you will use them and according to what they have in the application requirements. Also, it says that this grant is exclusively offered for software. 
applications for hardware will not be accepted. So we're not buying any laptops. We're not buying any towers or any of the, you know, any storage, external storage, you know, whatever for your computer and all of that. It's strictly software. All right. So as far as the timeline for the application process, well, they opened this one December 15th. Didn't know about it. So at least you're getting it before the end of the month because the closing date is January the 31st. Okay. So once they close it on the 31st of this month, and I don't know if they give a time here or not, I don't think so. Then you would, uh, the next thing is they'll be, and that's pretty quick, you guys. You don't see this very often, um, you know, but this is kind of a different type of uh, grant opportunity. You will receive um, the announcement. They want to start publicizing the announcement of who, you know, is going to receive the grant by the 20th of February. And that's 20 days. That is quick. That's quick as I've ever seen one. <laughs> Let me just say, yes, quick as I've seen. All right. So what I did was I tried to go through the process to apply so that I could let you all get a glimpse of what it would look like. But it kind of put me through some hoops and loops. And so I was like, okay, I had to use it because I have to be a nonprofit to actually even start the process of creating a profile. So I ran into some little issues with that. So I wasn't able to kind of complete that. But we will look at some of their uh, frequently asked questions. All right, so let's see what their objective of the grant is, is to assist nonprofits by removing the cost barrier of bringing software as a service platforms to their network, I'm sorry, to their nonprofit. We want the company or the organization wants to contribute to overall digital transformation beyond Monday.com licensing or license. Digital Lift wants to give grants to those nonprofits who may not be able to afford the software without our assistance. So, yes, I know what you might be thinking already. Well, it's reimbursing me. So I already got to have the money up front. Well, you might have to use a credit card. You might have to use, you know, some of your personal uh, funding, but you're getting reimbursed for that. And you would be able to show that in your end of year report reporting before you do your taxes or what have you. So um, that's how I see that. It's still an opportunity. You're getting your money back. How, many of, how often do you have to buy something and then you get paid back for it? You get reimbursed for it. You don't have all the time to do it. So this can still be considered it is a grant because they are granting you the money as a reimbursement, as a reimbursement, okay? All right, we're not going to read all these. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is important. What is considered a software as a, forgot what that acronym stands for. So a SAAS products are a software licensing and delivery model in which software is licensed on a subscription basis and is centrally hosted. Some examples of what type these type of products can include, but not limited to Slack, Calendly, I use that. I'm about to stop using it though. I got some other uh, things I'm going to start using. DocuSign, I definitely need something uh, in that arena. Zinc Desk, Dropbox, and others, right? So they're just giving you some examples of what SAAS products are. Can you submit more than one in application per year? Uh, it states that organizations are invited to apply as many times as they like. Organizations will only be eligible to receive the grant once per year, however, okay? Can you apply again if you're not selected this time? Yes, an organization can apply again if a requested grant was previously denied. Please note you must meet our criteria though, all the eligibility criteria still. Let's see if there's any restrictions. It says the grant should be used for the S. AAS technology and the specific purpose stated in the grant application. A receipt proof of purchase must be shared in order to receive full grant funds. So you want to make sure that you're purchasing the correct type stuff that can be reimbursed, okay? 
Uh, who will evaluate the proposals and when will I know the outcome once they are reviewed, all right? It says a committee at the company uh, of their employees will evaluate the proposals and share results and share results with the contact person listed on the application. So what documents is required of you to provide? This is important to know. Once you make the purchase, you must provide a donation receipt as well as a receipt with the purchase of the subscription, um, including the total amount purchase, date of purchase, and the proof that this account is from the nonprofit approved to receive the full or grant amount. Receipts must be in the name of the non-governmental organization. Non-government, I'm sorry, no, that's what NGO stands for. Non-government organization, which is the same thing as nonprofit, and cannot be purchased by an individual's form of payment. Okay, so... The receipt has to be have the name of the nonprofit on it. So it can't be your individual name. So you might not be able to use your personal credit card then. That sounds like what that says, because that would have your personal name on it. And so they would not be able to do that, um, use that as proof of purchase because it has to have the name of your nonprofit on there. So scratch what I said before. See, that's what happens when you don't read all the instructions. Y'all see why it's important, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So it definitely has to have the name of your nonprofit on the receipt. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's look at one more, maybe. Um, let's look at when can I purchase software? It says software must be purchased in either 2022 or 2023. So it has to be last year or this year. All right, so they, ans they answer a lot of questions here that you can actually go through. So as you can see, the website to go to to apply for this and start the application process is digital-lift.org forward slash grants. All right, again, that is digital dash, and I'm reading that for right up here, and you can look at my screen. So that's digital-lift.org digital forward slash grants. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you are not a nonprofit yourself, you can be looking forward to more grant information that I'll be sharing in the very, very near future. You can also check out all of my videos um, that I have posted throughout last year as well and beyond, um, because guess what? All of the, you know, um, 100, almost 100% 100 of those grants that I shared from last year are now open again. So you can go back to where I was talking about, you know, grants that, that are due in January and February of each year, because most times they just, you know, have the same cycle. So you can look at some of those old videos on my social media, where you can look me up at Anita in the Biz Coach, and that's on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. All right, I need to end the biz coach. And I'll be sharing some of those again, you know, in, in the very near future. And I have Facebook groups that you can join as well as you can email me if you'd like more information or would like to get information on how to work with me so I can help you through the grant process and some of the other things that are required of you as a business or nonprofit, all right? I have enjoyed being with you all today. I hope this has been some you know, very helpful information for you all. And I look forward to next time. All right. Until then, stay safe and God's blessings.